right, so then, uh, keep on going. You're talking about the EP. So how many? Yeah, just working on, just working on it now. Just working on the songs. I kind of had them for a while, but I've been, you know, on tour with Sugar Hill Gang, so I really haven't had a chance to really finish it. But uh, I got turned on to the 432 frequency by the Angels, Angels, uh, and Jules and Jay Earthling. Yeah. And I've uh, just been kind of following that mode right now. So that should be out in mid-July. So uh, how many songs again? Probably about between 10 and 12. Oh, wow. It's called the House Opera 432, right? Yeah, 432, exactly. So, so um, you know, why, why now are you doing your solo stuff? Why now? Yeah, that's what I'm working on now, just the solo stuff. I mean, I'm still still doing the Temple Dynasty thing, still doing the, you know, the Mosey B thing, still working on their new album, but primarily going in the solo direction. Why? Well, I've been doing this for so long. You know, I just want to, you know, try something else. I've got new stuff in the works for the Mosey B project, uh, new stuff in work for the Temple Dynasty. Just want to do something a little different. And so I'm just going to actually just step out. I've been out for the longest, but just step out on my own now and just concentrate on that particular thing. That's great. That's great. Excellent. So, you know, tell us in your vision, what is Crip House? Well, I mean, to me, it's like the genre is house music, dance music, disco music. And we just coined it Crip House just for the simple fact that all those artists that are part of the Crip Hop Nation, disabled musicians who happen to do house music, dance music, or DJ, just have like an umbrella to fall up under because basically it's going to be the same thing. It's all four, four on the floor, whether it's disco, trance, or what have you. It's just music done by people with disabilities like myself. Nothing, nothing to stand out on its own. If it does, it will. But, you know, otherwise it's just music that's done by those uh, individuals with disabilities, that particular type of house music. Yeah, we well, you know that house music has a long history of artists with disabilities like Paul Johnson and, you know, Paul Johnson's disabled and you have Black Coffee and um, South Africa that has one arm. So, you know, this um, queer house is, is really, you know, once again, you know, bringing a new, a, a new term of music. So, you know, it's going to be out in July. How can people get it? And how can people um, support your work? Well, it's up on, um, it'll be up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. The new website should be hitting around July. Just putting the finishing pieces on it. As I said, being so involved in the musical creative part, the administrative part of kind of like taking a back seat. So now we're just pulling everybody up, pulling everything up to the forefront and really balancing out the creative and the administrative part of things and taking the reins and making everything happen. Are you are you going to go on tour with, with this album? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Uh, just looking at, uh, we were supposed to be going out, opening up for Sugar Hill, but that kind of changed because he changed configuration. So, you know, using my contacts in Europe, I probably start doing a few spot dates and just checking on uh, uh, what my promoter, what he's particularly looking for, and then, then take it from there. But before that, just mass exposure, you know, just reacquainting the public to what I've been doing and, and who I am. Great. Awesome. Yeah, and you you did all the um, the music on this album. It, 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 it's all you. Yes, it's all me. Yeah, it's all me. Yeah, so like so electronic. Like so you know what what, what? what? What kind of titles are on on this album? If you can name some songs. Oh, Midnight Dream, uh, Summer Fiesta, things like that. Just kind of like off the dome and stuff like that as it comes together, then I'll title them. Okay. Great. Awesome. 
So once again, you know, how can people get in contact with you and tell me once again where this album's going to be? Uh, it's going to be released on CD Baby. Most of everything we do is released on CD Baby. Yeah. And then from there it goes to Apple Music and iTunes and Spotify and what have you. Um, you can always find me at uh, Facebook.com, Rob the Noise Temple, Facebook.com, Temple Dynasty, Crip Hop Nation. You know, that's basically where you can find me. But as I said, the Solid Noise website will be up and running uh, probably by the end of this month. And what, what, what does the cover of the album look like? Or, you know, what's, what's the cover of, of the album? You know, I haven't even designed that as of yet. Uh, still, still working that out trying to incorporate the 432's theme within that design. So deciding whether I want to take stock or do I want to sit down and design it myself. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to put in there? Well, you know, we're just doing, we got the brand new Sugar Hill Gang record out, Someone Like You, and Get On Up, two different releases. You know, working on a bunch of new stuff, Ages Angels with uh, Andrew Wells and Jay Earthling working on their stuff. And um, doing a bunch of plays, finishing up my work with Frank West at uh, Redbone Entertainment, working on his latest uh, off-Broadway production, and uh, just finishing up a, a bunch of loose things. So that's basically what's going on right about now. Great, great. Well, thank you, Rob. And once again, tell us how can people get in contact with you. Facebook.com, Rob the Noise, Temple Solid Noise. Dot com. You can find us there. That's where you can find us. And also, working on that new I Can Do Anything, getting the pan, getting the the, 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 the sign language thing rolling. And so that's all coming out. We're going to master that next. All right. Well, thank you, Rob. Take care. All right, brother. Be blessed. Okay, yeah.